Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is over this look, which is my everyday makeup. It's what I wear literally every single day when I'm on a rush to work and I don't have time to do my eyeshadow and I just need something quick and glam and like something that I know will work for me every single time. It's gonna be this look and these products right here. So if you wanna get this look right here, my everyday makeup look, please keep watching. The first thing that I already did is put on some chapstick cause your girl has some dry ass lips. I like really like this one. It's by Blistex and it's the five star lip protectant, water resistant one. The second thing that I'm gonna do is hydrate my face with the Mario Badescu facial spray. This is the rose water one. Um, I actually really like the cucumber one, but I think I have that packed up over there, so I'm using my rose water one. So what I've been doing lately is really focusing on hydrating my face and making sure like my skin is all prepped and ready to go before I put on my makeup. I feel like it looks way better that way. I've noticed that when I keep my face hydrated and moisturized, I feel like my makeup looks a lot better on. Oh. The first thing that I've been doing is putting on my primer. I don't have my brows on yet. I'm actually going to do that after my foundation. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Put it right here where I have it texture. I like texture right here and also on my nose, so I like to make sure that I put that in. This is gonna really fill in the fine lines and any pores that you have. It's gonna give you a more smooth surface to work with. Putting it on my forehead because I always, my forehead's so big that I'm always raising my brows, so I have to fill in those lines. I have to fill in my smile lines on the sides right here. Also my chin where there's a lot more texture. And then we're going to move on to foundation. Lately, I've been in love with this foundation. I'm constantly using it every single day for night, for daytime, like everything. I can't put it down. This is like truly like the best drugstore foundation I've ever tried. It's actually my favorite overall. And this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I am in the color Golden Beige. And one of the things I love most about this foundation is actually the applicator. It looks like this. I'm not sure if you can tell or if you can see, but it's like a flat, like kind of oval applicator. And it's really nice because literally all you have to do is paint on your foundation. And this foundation is very full coverage. And the longevity of it is incredible. Typically when I do my everyday makeup look, I'm wearing it all day long and I need it to last all day. I need it to look all good all day. I need it to stay on all day. And this one like really stays on. This is also a very mattifying foundation. So if you are more on the dry side, you probably won't like it at all. But if you're oily, then you're absolutely going to love it. I can have this foundation on for 12 hours and I do not get oily. Not a drop. I can, ooh, I can finally put highlighter on the tip of my nose again without getting oily at all. Like at the end of like my 12 hour night, I can still see like where my highlighter is. My highlighter on my nose hasn't like combined with the oils and just look like a big oily slob on my nose which I love I think that's why I've been gravitating towards it so much you can see it blends out so nicely and this is only one layer and my face is already like snatched to the gods
this does dry kind of fast so I would work in like smaller portions just so you can get everything blended right in. In my viewfinder, it looks like my head's just floating because it looks like my foundation's too light, but I promise you guys, like this is like the perfect color. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with concealer. I'm using my favorite concealer, as you all know, which is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I've been doing this new thing where I just like put it right here in like kind of like a half moon shape. I don't really do the triangle and I don't really like drag it down or like drag it too far apart. I'm taking my beauty blender again and blending out the bottom. I'm also dragging it onto my eyelid just because I have a little bit of discoloration there. To set my highlighted areas, I'm using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Pressed Powder. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys know that this is my favorite. It's only like three bucks and it works so, so well. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, I'll put a link. Well, not a link, but like I'll put my Snapchat name right here so you guys can follow me and we can be friends, talk about makeup. Oh, uh, by the way, this brush that I'm using is a Mikasa Beauty brush, and it's the F120. I'm actually affiliated with them, so if you guys want to buy any of their brushes, I will leave a link down below with my coupon, and you'll get 20% off your entire purchase. Their brushes are already really inexpensive as it is, so with the discount, you really get like a really, really good price. Moving on to setting the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me in 240. This is my favorite powder to set my face with. And literally, I'm just pressing into my head, or into my forehead, so it can pick up a lot of pigmentation and give me more coverage. So now I'm finally going to do my brows. I'm using the Benefit Cabrow. Okay, so I fixed my lighting a little bit because it was just bothering me so much, and I think what I see in the viewfinder is more accurate of what I'm seeing right now, like in person. So... I hope that you guys like it a little better and that you guys can see everything like more in depth and like the actual like realistic color. I just finished my brows as well. I'm going to set it with the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara now in the color black. It says it's black but it's really like dark dark brown. And I, this is like my favorite mascara wand. Even though my brows are growing in, they're just naturally so much lighter than what my hair is right now that like you can't really like see the hairs if you're not like in my face so I really like to use this it really brings out my brow hairs and it just makes my brows look more full to highlight underneath my brow bones and brow bones uh, underneath my brow and to like bring them out and clean them up I'm using the benefit high brow I'm obsessed with it it works so well and for those of you who always want like really clean brows or you like wonder why uh, or you want like Instagram brows, cleaning up underneath does so much for you. Like, look at that. That made just like a huge difference. Please let me know if you wanted, want an updated brow routine. Um, I've changed my technique and like how I do my brows and the shape of my brows so dr drastically within the past year. So onto the rest of my face, I've been doing this thing where I really like to highlight first because my highlighting sometimes can get out of hand and like it's just like all over my face. So when I highlight first and then add my blush and my bronzer, it kind of cleans up my highlight. I'm using like a Champagne Pop highlighter, it's still my fave. So I'm going to put that on the highest points of my cheeks. 
It doesn't matter if this is an everyday makeup, a glam makeup, a simple makeup, natural makeup. I want to be highlighted and I want to be glowy. I want the aliens and Mars to see my highlight. I'm going to go in with my Hoola bronzer, my go-to bronzer. It's the perfect contour and bronzing shade. I'm gonna bronze my forehead. You guys know the drill. Gotta tone this five head to like a four, three head. So I'm going to carve out my jawline. See how this is like an everyday simple makeup look and I'm like contouring my jawline. The last thing I'm going to contour is my nose and I'm actually going to use this brush. I love this brush that uh, you get when you buy the Hoola bronzer. It's just like goes into your cheekbones perfectly and then for me... I kind of have a wide nose so it's easy for me to use it as like a contour brush for my nose too. It's not like too big or anything. If you have like nice skinny, like a nice skinny nose, you probably, this is probably going to be too big for you, but just snatched my nose. And then I'm actually going to like go in with my fan brush and just dip it in like this in my highlighter and tap it out and then go right on top of my nose, the bridge of my nose. It just like really highlights it nicely and brings out my nose. And last but not least, I'm going to put on some blush. You already know Luminoso, my absolute fave. I love coral blushes. I feel like it looks really nice with my skin tone. I used to hate blush so much and like now I like literally can't live without it. Clean up my contour. I'm going back in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder and I'm just gonna dust it right underneath, cleaning it up, giving it more of like a shape and structure. The last thing for my face is setting it with the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. Normally when I do my everyday makeup look, I'm usually wearing it for a long period of time for like at least eight hours so I want to make sure that my makeup stays on all day and this is the GOAT when it comes to that. And because I'm extra, I'm actually, while the setting spray is still setting on my face, I'm going to add more highlighter. And I'm also going to add some on my forehead. And my upper lip. And also a little on my chin. I want to be glowing at like all angles. For my eyes, all I'm going to do is curl my lashes and then glue on some falsies. Today I'm using my Lily Lashes in Opulence. These are my absolute favorite lashes. They're natural, but very, very flary, very like how eyelash extensions would look. How pretty are these lashes? I just literally feel so pretty once my lashes are long. I definitely don't do eyeshadow every single day. Um, I'm more of a, like a natural, like this is natural to me and so this is all I need. I'm using some of the highlighter and I'm putting um, it on the inner corners of my eye. And then I'm also gonna put some on the edge of my brow bone. For my lips, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Exposed Lip Liner. I find that when I use her lip liner and I put it all over my lips and I put my lipstick on it, my lipstick lasts a long longer, a lot longer. For my lipstick color, I'm using Max Honey Love. I've been obsessed with it. You guys know how I was like obsessed with Velvet Teddy again? Like this is my new obsession. 
So that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed my simple every single day makeup look. I literally wear this look every single day. I just throw this on and I'm out the door. Thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and like down below. Even leave me a comment telling me what you guys want to see next and I will see you guys in my next video.